At five feet four inches tall, Kimberly Floyd weighed 240 pounds. Food became the automatic way that I dealt with any emotion. If I was mad, I ate. If I was sad, I ate. If I was bored, I ate. If I was tired, I ate. That was the solution for everything. But after a 20 year struggle, Kim finally won her battle with obesity and lost 85 pounds. She's gone from a size 22 to a size eight. How does it feel to have achieved your goal of losing all that weight and to really have stuck with it this time? You really cannot put a price tag on how good I feel. I, I feel like a new person. It's so wonderful, but it's a day by day process. And each day, even now, I have to make a decision about what I'm going to do to take care of myself. Kim began to pile on the pounds in her early 20s. I was a fast food junkie. There were days when I would eat fast food for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. No lie. And one of my favorite binge foods was Pepperidge Farm coconut cake. I would promise myself, I'd say, okay, Kim, I'm just gonna get, eat one piece and I'll put it away. And it would be like the cake would talk to me. It would say, Kim, come eat me, come eat me. And um, finally, I would actually go get the whole cake and a knife and a fork and just sit there and eat the whole cake as if the whole cake was my slice. Kim worked the night shift as a registered nurse. They had like a little snack bar in the basement and I would go down there at two o'clock in the morning and get my burgers and fries and my large Coke every night. And that would give me a little bit of energy and then I'd come home and then I'd eat breakfast too. And then I'd go to bed. Mm -hmm. So obviously with that type of pattern, I started piling the weight on and it was so depressing. And I tried so many diets and it just didn't work and, and I felt like such a failure. Like many of her patients, Kim took high blood pressure medication. Her doctor warned her about the dangers of being overweight. He said, Kim, what you're doing to your heart is the same as asking an engine designed for a Volkswagen to carry the weight of a Mack truck. And that just really hit me. And I went out to my car and I just cried um, because I knew that I was destroying myself with a knife and a fork, um, but I felt like I was powerless to do anything about it. Kim's food addiction continued another two years until she was jolted awake in the middle of the night. The alarm clock goes off and I jump off the sofa real fast to go run and turn it off and a chest pain just slams into my chest. And it feels like someone reached inside of my chest and placed their hand around my heart and just squeezed. In that silence, God spoke to me and he said, it is not supposed to be this way. I had a choice about whether I was going to believe him or continue in my own way. I chose to believe him that it didn't have to be like this. And I had a doctor's appointment card and I wrote on the appointment card, today is the day I turn my life around. Doctors ran tests on Kim's heart. The results came back normal. That's when I started making those changes and it started with the Coke. It started out trading Coke for water. It started out putting the fast food down and start cooking for myself at home and making meals for myself. It started with me just saying to myself, I'm important. I need to stop putting myself on the shelf. She made exercise a priority. I exercise six days a week. I could only walk for 10 minutes when I first started, but I kept going and today I can run a 10K. One of the strengths that I received from losing weight was the fact that it drew me closer to God because I had to have something to turn to rather than food. So since God said it's not supposed to be this way, I was like, okay, God, I'm going to let the food go. You handle this. You heal me. And what I started doing was I started praying more. I started studying the Bible more. I started praising him. Kim has kept the weight off for five years. Her high blood pressure is gone. She's now a certified wellness coach. With God, all things are possible because I could not have done it without him. He's just given me new energy, new joy, new passion for life. And that is the one thing that I really want to bring across to people is that it is possible to lose weight. It is possible to get healthy. Um, you don't have to settle for low energy. You don't have to settle for depression. You don't have to settle for anxiety because God wants more for you.